My name is Keshwani. K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GMAT. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the official guide GMAT Review 2015 edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The math problems that are appearing in this book, 2015 edition, actually happen to be the exact same math problems as the ones that appeared in the 13th edition of GMAT Review. We have already solved every single math problem from the 13th edition. I'm not going to redo them. I'm going to simply tell you where to find the solution to a given problem. Let's begin then, shall we? We are on the very last page, very last page of the problem solving questions. On page number 185, you will find four problems on, four problems on page number 185. Problem number 227, 228, 229, and 230. You will find the solutions to problem number 227 on day number 371. Solutions to problem number 228, 228, solutions to that problem was presented twice, two different methods. One on day number 372, and again, we read the problem on day number 373. The penultimate problem, problem number 229, was done on day number 374. And finally, the last problem, problem number 230, you will find a solution to it, solution to that problem on day number 375. Day number 375 is where the story ends. The story begins on day number 251. If you're interested in finding solutions to any of the problem solving questions or any of the data sufficiency questions, you will find the solutions, as I said, to all the problems from day number 251 to 375 for GMAT 2015 official guide. The solutions to data sufficiency questions you will find on, on even numbers beginning with 252. Just type in GMAT math day 252 and it will pop right up. Thank you. Bye now.